Today's video is going to teach you how to get some zone pressure in Madden NFL 16 from the 4-3 odd in the New England Patriots defensive playbook. What's up guys, my name is Cody and today we're taking a look at our defensive scheme of the week series uh, in which we like to break down a scheme every week from a different playbook. Today's playbook is in preparation for our defensive ebook that we're going to be launching and this is the New England Patriots defensive playbook. We're going to be launching a guide based on New England's defensive playbook. And today we're giving you just a little bit of a sneak preview of uh, some of the things you're going to see. But this is the 4-3 odd formation. And what we're going to want to do today um, is we're going to want to break down some zone pressure from you. Now the key to this zone blitz is to have a guy with a high acceleration in your right of screen defensive end, which is your left end on your depth chart. Here we have Khalil Mack. Um, you could also use guys like Alden Smith or Justin Tuck on the Raiders. Um, but the Raiders have a lot of guys for this. So anyways, that's what we like to do. It doesn't matter what what zone coverage you pick to be quite honest um, what we like to do this out of um, we like to do this out of the cover three um, but some people like to do it out of the cover two or the cover six um, or whatever it may whatever floats your boat I like to do it out of cover three press so anyway what we want to do with cover three press we want to sh uh, basically the f goes very simple baseline line shift your D line to the right crash your D line to the left and then blitz this LOS outside linebacker. Obviously, this guy needs to be over the center, of course. But anyways, just uh, shift your line to the right, crash them to the left, and then globally re-blitz this backer, uh, Malcolm Smith, here. And what you're going to see is we're going to try to get some pressure um, off the edge there with Justin Tuck or with Khalil Mack. Um, and guys, you need to do this as soon as you come out of the huddle. This needs to be set up very fast. It's important that you set this up very quickly. Um, if not, it may get picked up. But there you see we get Khalil Mack coming up that gap for some nice gap heat. Once again, the setup is as follows. Base align. Shift your defensive line to the right. Crash your defensive line to the left. And then globally re-blitz your LOS outside linebacker. Um, and what you're going to see is you should see some nice gap heat. Here we got picked up because our offensive line, uh, the offensive line had too many, too long to, to pay attention to the blitz. Guys, it's very important that you set this up as soon as you come out. It's kind of difficult to show it in practice mode because of that. But anyways, guys, we'll show you this one more time. And there you see we get some nice gap pressure. This time from Justin Tuck screaming up the A-gap um, at the quarterback. So this is really the foundation for the 4-3 odd. This is what everybody's using. I'm not the first person that invented this blitz, and I won't be the last person to post about it, but it is this, it is exactly what we want to use. We're looking at the zone pressure from the 4-3 odd. Is any play in the any play from the 4-3 odd, I like to use cover three sky press, base the line, shift your line to the right, crash your line to the left, and then globally re-blitz your LOS outside linebacker, and you're gonna be get some nice gap pressure at the quarterback. Thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions, be sure to uh, ask me those questions in the comment section below. Um, but other than that, guys, make sure you purchase this New England Defensive Guide, guys. It's only $10, and, uh, and we're going to have a ton of depth and detail, which we're going to go into on the defensive side of the ball, talking about how to improve your defense. In Madden 16, we've got several plays, but more than plays, we're going to have a full defensive scheme for you, uh, focusing all around the nickel packages again. Uh, we talked about it. And our last guide, and we're going to talk about it even more in this guide, we're also going to give you the 4-3 odd, and as well we're going to have um, some other formations like the 3-4 sets. Uh, we're going to break into some really good stuff from 3-4 sets.